cancer season so we're coming with a b-day part two session um if you follow me on instagram you know for my actual birthday i went to mexico puerta larta still trying to um get that name down pack and i didn't came and left and all of that stuff but anywho um i'm getting ready to catch my flight to antigua the weather is supposed to be 84 degrees all week so i'm so ready to see what is cooking over there it's like 7 40 here in miami um look at this view y'all look look at the view that i have right now So the next time you'll see me, I'll be landing in Antigua. Eagle escapes, baby. All right, Eagle Empire. Uh, I just landed in Antigua. Uh, we got a 40 minute drive to the airport to Nonsuch Bay. So we on in. Right now the weather is kind of gloomy, but it is hot. Um, it's not really sun outside, but we're gonna make it work, okay? Birthday part two, the shenanigans is about to begin. We got a bomb room, so let's get it. Drink some rum punch. Take a shot for me, cancer season. So, about to do a quick room tour. They have this. If you put it inside the shell, that means do not disturb. If you leave it out, room service will come. When you first walk in, this is so nice. When you first walk in, they have robes on the bed with flowers. And these are real flowers, y'all. Wow real flowers look at the setup then tv and they already like set it up with the netflix you can go straight to it um room number escape 3201 comes with the key when you go to the back rose petals everywhere i love it you have the essentials you know nice shower and then they have the double sinks with the mirror look at your girl look at your girl oh i guess i can take this mask off now huh so yeah they have the double sinks and a nice little mirror more flowers and then back here they have coffee machine water um the ice thingy me jiggy <laughs> A small little fridge, which we already packed with stuff. Sorry. But it did come with um, two waters and um, milk. So that was in there. We have these. Okay, a nice little closet to put your stuff in. And then when you come around this way, have the glass door. A little private bathroom so it's not connected to the shower you won't get that that little smell <laughs> and then you come out this way I said that's the front door that you come out of you have two double sliding doors which with the plunge pool we got the plunge pool right here we got the outdoor tub i mean is this real antigua baby your girl your your girl is loving it. And then, you know, we had to had to get the Don Julio, the 1942, for the birthday. And, duh, come on. Champagne popping. Okay. So, 
there's that and then the two towels we have a nice little layout area and then the plunge pool which literally i don't know how much swimming you can do in it but it's definitely relaxing and then this is the view have the ocean over there wow it's so peaceful and beautiful and it's like i love the privacy with everything around here like this is the corner room so yeah i love it so this is how it looks coming back through hey y'all now that i gave y'all the tour um i'm gonna relax take off these airport clothes have dinner scheduled for 6 30 so yeah it's time to um turn up peace out <laughs> Going today? Well, the three hour tour is mainly just the east side, okay? The east side, okay. Yeah, so we're gonna go to Half Moon Bay, show you that beach, then we go to Betty's Hope, which was the first plantation. Okay. And we leave from there, go up to Long Bay, show you that beach, go up to Devil's Bridge. city to chill with the stingrays so i will definitely vlog more and i will definitely show that experience okay so next time you see me and yes i have my towel on my neck y'all youtube don't ban me <laughs> um so the next time you guys will see me i will be swimming with the stingrays wish me luck <laughs>
one. It's giving oyster, oyster taste, but they put like some type of crumb over top, a little bit of cheese or something. So A plus for snails for right now. and final day um yesterday at stingray city was amazing i'm still in disbelief that i was swimming around with some dang stingrays like that is far from what i thought that i was going to be doing on this trip today i ordered a floating breakfast so it's going to come out i'm going to eat it in the pool today with some champagne and fruits and all of that good stuff um and then at 10 we have our covid test so something interesting about uh, at least the resort that we're staying in escape at nonsuch bay they um schedule your tests like the same day as your flight i don't know what that's about but as long as it's back and it's good to go and i get back to the states fine I'm good. Yeah, I'm excited about my floating breakfast. Um, the resort has been beautiful. The restaurant that I ate at yesterday that I posted, um, I had snail for the first time. It was actually good. It had, with the crumbles and cheese and all that stuff on it, I don't know if I would like it like any other way. Um, but other than that, like the food wasn't really seasoned well. It was like a French um, restaurant but the food wasn't really seasoned well. So after we left, we actually went to our scheduled dinner on the resort. <laughs> like we made it just in time. So we ate here too. Um, but yeah, yesterday was a blast. The other, uh-oh, it sounds like my breakfast is here. It's finished cheese, peppers, onion, tomato, mushroom, bacon, breakfast, sausage, hash, brown, and you have your cream cheese with your smoked salmon bacon for order number one. Yes. Mm -hmm. The cream cheese bake, let's see how it's... 